This patient education video talks about treadmill test. In this video, you will understand what is a treadmill test or an exercise stress test, why it's done, the risks associated with the test, the preparation and procedure, and the results from the test. Also watch some frequently asked questions about treadmill test. An exercise stress test is used to determine how well your heart responds during times when it's working its hardest. During the test, you'll be asked to exercise typically on a treadmill while you're hooked up to an electrocardiogram machine. This allows your doctor to monitor your heart rate. The exercise stress test is also referred to as an exercise test or treadmill test. An exercise stress test is primarily used to help your doctor determine if your heart receives enough oxygen and proper blood flow when it needs it the most, such as when you're exercising. It can be ordered for people who have been experiencing chest pain or other symptoms of coronary heart disease. An exercise stress test may also be used to help determine your level of health, especially if you are starting a new exercise program. This allows your doctor to learn what level of exercise you can safely handle. If you are a smoker over 40 years old or if you have other risk factors for heart disease, you should talk to your doctor to see if an exercise stress test is a good idea for you. Stress tests are generally considered safe, especially since they are done in a controlled environment under the supervision of a trained medical professional. However, there are some rare risks such as chest pain, collapsing, fainting, heart attack, irregular heartbeat. However, your risk of experiencing these reactions during the test is low since your doctor will screen you for problems beforehand. People who run the risk of these complications such as those with advanced coronary heart disease are rarely asked to do the test. Prior to your test, your doctor will perform a physical exam and ask about your complete medical history. At this point, tell your doctor about your symptoms, especially any chest pains or shortness of breath. You should also tell your doctor about any conditions or symptoms that may make exercising difficult such as stiff joints from arthritis. Finally, let your doctor know if you have diabetes because exercise affects blood sugar. If you do have diabetes, your doctor may want to monitor your blood glucose levels during the exercise test as well. The day of the test, be sure to dress in loose, comfortable clothing. Something that is light and breathable is best. Make sure to wear comfortable shoes such as athletic sneakers. Your doctor will give you complete instructions about how to prepare. These instructions might include Avoid eating, smoking or drinking caffeinated beverages for 3 hours before the test. Stop taking certain medications. Report any chest pains or other complications you notice on the day of the test. You should only stop taking medications if your doctor tells you to do so. Before you begin exercising, you'll be hooked up to the ECG machine. Small round sensors are placed on your arms, legs and chest to measure your heart's electrical currents. You'll wear a blood pressure cuff on your arm. Your doctor or nurse will check your heart rate and breathing before you begin exercising. Your doctor may also have you breathe into a tube to test the strength of your lungs. You'll start off by walking slowly on a treadmill. The speed and grade of the treadmill will be increased as the test continues. 
If you experience any difficulties, especially chest pains, weakness or fatigue, you may ask to stop the test. When your doctor is satisfied with your results, you will be able to stop exercising. Your heart rate and breathing will continue to be monitored for a short while afterward. The total time including preparation for the stress test is around 30 minutes. After the test, you will be given water and asked to rest. If your blood pressure rises during the test, your attending nurse may continue to monitor your blood pressure. A few days after the test, your doctor will review the results with you. The test could reveal irregular heart rhythms or other symptoms that indicate coronary artery disease such as blocked arteries. If your doctor determines you may have coronary artery disease or other heart problems, they may begin treatments or order more tests such as a nuclear stress test. After a stress test indicates an abnormality, heart specialists turn to a more invasive but also much more informative test, a heart catheterization with angiography. A long thin tube called a catheter is threaded through blood vessels to the heart to see if there is a restriction in blood flow going to the heart. FAQs about stress test Are there any side effects to a stress test? Usually, you'll exercise hard enough to feel strain and puff for breath. If you have a heart problem, you might feel chest pain or become aware of your heart beats during the test. Although rare, you could have a heart attack during the test, but your doctor will monitor you during the test to be ready for any problems. Do you run or walk during a stress test? A stress test usually involves walking on a treadmill or riding a stationary bike under supervision during which the heart rhythm and rate, blood pressure and breathing are continuously monitored. How long do you run during a stress test? The person will exercise for 10 to 15 minutes, but they can ask to stop at any time if they feel unwell. If the person experiences any of the following, the doctor might stop the test. Dizziness, high blood pressure. Treadmill test is used to determine how well the heart responds when it is stressed such as exercise. Advice to people with chest pain or with symptoms of coronary heart disease. Treadmill tests are generally safe since they are performed under the supervision of a trained medical professional. The average walking time is 6 to 9 minutes. The test may be stopped if you develop abnormal ECG changes. You are too tired to continue if you have reached your peak heart rate. The test could reveal irregular heart rhythm or other symptoms that indicate blocked arteries depending on which further tests may be advised. For more information, contact Dr. Raghu, Director, Cardiologist, Astor Prime Hospitals, Hyderabad, India.